Hi, I'm Caroline. In this video, we'll be looking at how to use small pumps to remove water from pools, garages, basements, low-lying driveways and other areas. When you drain water, you need to pick the right pump for the job. And today, we're going to concentrate on small pumps. This pump is known as a puddle sucker because it can drain very shallow water. It's ideal for pools or other situations where the water's clean, like a flooded basement. It can also remove water down to as low as three millimeters. You can also use this two inch submersible pump. It's great for small areas of water and also pumps slightly faster than the puddle sucker. Just ask your Canard's hire team which is best for your job. Now this is a small pump, but for very large volumes of water, you'll need to use a much more powerful pump. You'll also need to use a more powerful pump if you need to remove the water quite quickly or if there's a large distance between the source and the discharge point. Just ask your Canard's hire team about which pump is best for your needs. In this video, we're going to look at how to use the puddle sucker in a pool. The same method could be used in other spaces too. Dave is going to demonstrate how to use this small pump. The first thing you need to decide is where the water is going to go. Now, most councils allow you to empty the water directly into the stormwater drain, but if the water is dirty or contaminated, then you may not be able to do so. It's important to check with your council before you start to make sure that you comply with local regulations. If you're pumping out an in-ground pool, check for the hydrostatic valve. It's usually located at the deepest point at the bottom of the pool. This prevents groundwater pressure buildup from pushing it out of the ground. Once you remove the weight of the water from the pool, this pressure can be so strong that it can push the pool completely out of the ground, causing major damage. So it's important to make sure that the hydrostatic valve is open and kept open until the pool is filled up again. You need to place the pump at the deepest part of the water, whether it's a pool, a flooded room or a car park. Find that spot first before getting the pump ready, then connect the discharge hose to the pump. We've already run a hose out to the discharge point, so now lay out some safety cones or barriers to prevent a tripping hazard. Turn off the pool pump and any other electrical devices associated with the pool. Now plug the pump power cable into your electricity outlet. Make sure you use one equipped with a working portable residual current device. If for instance you're draining a basement or a space that has electrical outlets, then the power supply must first be switched off. Any extension cable connections or switches must also be kept well away from water. And now we've got everything ready. The hose is connected to the discharge point and to the pump. We've got the main power supply switched off for the pool. We've got the electricity connection to the pump itself. And now Dave is ready to get everything going. We're all set now. To lower the pump to the deepest part of the pool, we're gonna use the rope provided. Never use electrical cable to do this as you risk damaging the pump. As the water level lowers, it'll be easier to reposition the pump to the lowest level of the pool. When the pump's in position and you're ready to go, turn it on. Once the pump is switched on, thanks Dave, make sure that the water is emptying into the discharge point as you've planned. If the discharge point is overflowing, stop the pump, clear the blockage, or choose a new discharge point. By hiring a puddle sucker or a combination of pumps, you can easily empty your pool or your flooded space. Thanks for watching this guide to using small pumps. If you have any specific questions, you can read more about pumps on the Kennards Hire website, or your local Kennards Hire team will be happy to help you out. See you next time. While operating machinery, we recommend using the necessary safety gear, all of which each Kennards Hire branch has in stock. Follow all safety instructions Kennards Hire staff give you, and always refer to the operator's instructions before operating. Instructions are available on the Kennards website, or simply ask at your local branch. Let's make your job easy.